just get out there and play and perform. Um, whether you're making money or doesn't, that's not really an issue. It's the best job in the world. I mean, really, it's to, to play music for a living is uh, is incredible. The thing is, there's there's no exact career path. I was told, you know, that. Some people said, you know, you have to go to New York to have a career, or you have to enter an international competition. That's the way you make a career. And um, I didn't really do uh, either of those things. So um, I found my own way. And I think um, all of you will, will decide on, um, you know, on a different, or maybe not decide, maybe it'll just happen. Sometimes you don't make consciously these decisions. You, um, you kind of follow the opportunities that come your way and see, what, see how that goes. Um, but there are so many ways to arrive at being a musician and so many ways to be a musician uh, professional. Um, uh, not everyone wants to be uh, under pressure every night playing concertos. That's a lot of pressure and it's, I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. It takes a certain kind of temperament to, to handle that without falling apart. Um, and, uh, but um, the nice thing about music is that you can carve out your own, your own, your own way. You know, teaching and chamber music and finding opportunities to to perform, and um, I think it's really important that uh, that you don't that one doesn't think that there's one way to to have a career in music. I would hate to see classical music become so marginalized and so only for the few educated elite. You know that um, and that and unfortunately that's the way it's portrayed in the in popular culture sometimes um, in the movies. It's always the opera that the husband gets dragged to. Uh, by the wife, you know, you know, when and he's really bored and falling asleep during. It's always that sort of thing. It so makes me so mad when I um, when I see that because it's um, I don't want classical music to have that that connotation. It doesn't need to. Everyone has to put have their own gauge on what feels right to them. But I think the uh, um, and I have to do that myself. You know, I have to feel. Am I, do I feel good about doing this? Does it feel like I'm selling myself short or? Um, um, and, uh, and that's you can only do yourself. But I think the important thing is to know that it's not. Uh, um, it, it is respectable to do other kinds of music and to do gigs and to do. Uh, I mean, you're a musician, and you can play in an orchestra and do movie soundtracks. You know, um, I'm not so so uh, pessimistic about the future of music. Uh, first of all, I think every generation since for hundreds of years. They've said this is the end of of uh, this is a, the la the good old days. Did you ever see the movie, the Woody Allen movie, uh, the Midnight? Uh, what was that? This, uh, the Paris movie that came out a couple years ago. The whole idea of this, that was that it's always nostalgic. The generation before is always more romantic and better, and and everyone wanted to go to the generation before. And it was sort of a little time travel thing, um, and that's sort of what in classical music they've been complaining for. I think really for centuries that. That the new music is is bad, and the old is better, and the audiences are going to die off because look at all the older people. Um, they certainly said that. I've been in this for thirty years. They said that thirty years ago when I was, uh, you know, twelve or whatever, starting out, and and um, and I know that a lot of those old people that I saw in the audience are not around anymore. So, and there's still the audiences are still filling up. I think unfortunately, it takes sometimes people. Um, too long, but eventually they reach a point in their life where they're looking for something more in music and and then just what's trendy or whatever. And I think um, classical music fills that. And so we, I think we'll always, hopefully we'll always fill, fill those, um, you know, fill the audiences. <laughs>